Boy, I love this film. Love this film a lot. I'm assuming you do too. I very much so. And why? I I, uh, I didn't write it. I didn't produce it. I didn't direct it. I had nothing to do with all of that stuff. I just uh, played Shrek, who's the ogre in the movie, and um, I loved coming into an environment with amazing, uh, brilliant, dedicated artists in a film that when I eventually have kids and grandchildren and stuff, I'd be extremely proud to take them to because I think that the message of the film is, is amazing, which is, is to just accept yourself and, and love yourself for who you are and not feel bad that you don't look like all the perfect people uh, or, or the people that five or six people who decide what a perfect body image is say is when you don't look like that, that you should just feel happy with, with who you are and, and how you look. And I think for little kids now, I think it's a very timely message. And it's done in the best possible way, which is in a very silly way and a funny way and a great story and a great adventure. And I think Eddie Murphy is hilarious in this movie and I think Cameron Diaz is as wonderful and charming as ever. And, and you know, John Lithgow is just brilliant as ever. And He's uh, a tiny little man. He's a tiny little man. He has a lot to make up for and overcompensate for. Yes, he does. You know, I, I guess I, gu I think a lot of these images, and especially these images, are bombarded towards girls, but they're also bombarded towards boys. Mm -hmm. We don't think about that side a whole lot. Mm -hmm. and, and Shrek really has a lot to say to boys, because we don't really talk to boys in movies a lot no. about image. Mm -hmm. And those are really important. Yeah, and I think, it's, I think what's the good thing about this movie, and, and when I saw the movie, I, I, I've been with this movie for a year and a half at least, and you watch it kind of evolve, and it's sort of a glacial process of how it's made. And then I saw the finished product, and um, it made me cry. I mean, it really did. And 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 I was I was concerned for Shrek, even though I did the voice. I, I got completely lost in this amazing world. And I think that the delivery system of the message that it's not you're not beaten over the head with it, but it's just done through good entertainment and, and a good journey makes me all the more proud to be associated with it. Uh, besides growing up a hockey fan, mm -hmm. uh, did anybody in your family read stories to you? My, my mother did, actually. Um, the first uh, pass of, because it can take so long and it changes constantly, my, the first voice I did for Shrek was actually Canadian. I actually was like, you know, I live in a swamp, eh? And like, I'm an ogre, right? And, um, and Steven Spielberg and Jeffrey Katzenberg and the people at PD Engine, which they, they liked it and they were very supportive. But I knew I could give them more. I knew there was something missing. What was missing was my mom, who's from Liverpool, who uh, is a trained actress, used to read stories to me all the time when I was a kid. And was the bookmobile used to come by and we used to go to the part yeah. where the kids section is. And, and my mom really acted them out. And, and all of my children's stories have English accents and British accents. So once I shifted to Shrek being like a Scottish person who's lived in Toronto for 20 years, then I could make that connection to that yummy feeling I had when I was a kid and your mom read your stories and the magic of that. And uh, so it, it really has meant a lot to me. So you into the NHL playoffs right now? Oh, Deep and heavy? more than you know. I feel bad for Edmonton, but I live in Dallas, and that was one amazing series. That's a great series. All it's the series, series have been great. I, I have to admit, I was at Game 4 in Toronto uh, when we swept the Ottawa Senators, who are a great team, yep. but uh, that, was a, that, that was an awesome experience. I, I think people in Dallas, because it's not a hockey town, but it's become a hockey town. Yeah, uh, they have a great big, team. Madonna and Hole and all those guys. Great are, players. They're great. But um, there's something about playoff hockey that is completely unique. I think playoff hockey, it just feels like there's more molecules in the air and the air is thick with excitement and especially up in Toronto too, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a religion up there. And, uh, and then every, every shift counts and who they've lined up against who and, you know, are they gonna be able to shut down Madonna or shut down Hull and, and all that stuff. Um, you know, if Eddie Belf is gonna stand on his head tonight and and all that stuff, you just, uh, it just gets riveting, you know, I, I find. Playoff hockey, I think, is the best. It's the best. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good work. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah.